The balance sheet is a snapshot of the financial status of the company at a point in time. The two sides of the balance sheet balance in that they are equal in value. On one side are the company's assets and on the other side are the company's liabilities. The difference in value between the assets and liabilities is referred to as equity. The other way of looking at this is an equation. Assets equals liabilities plus equity. Or more realistically, assets less liabilities equals equity. Equity is one of the key things you're looking for in a balance sheet, as it determines the solvency of the company. A company with lots of assets, such as cash on hand, and few debts and liabilities has a high level of shareholder equity. This is a company that's financially strong. Of course, when a business has excess debts and liabilities to creditors, and very little in the way of cash or assets, the company is financially weak. Where liabilities exceed assets, the shareholders' equity is negative. Otherwise, the balance sheet wouldn't balance. Many people view the balance sheet as a two-by-two two matrix. On the left, there are the fixed assets and the current assets. On the right are the liabilities and equity. An asset like cash on hand is a current asset, but an asset such as ownership of real estate property is a fixed asset. Whether the asset is fixed or current depends on how readily it can be converted into cash. In a technology startup company, the assets are usually patents, designs, and intellectual property. These assets are difficult to value accurately, and the balance sheet of a high tech startup usually contains plenty of debts and liabilities, a little cash, and very little in the way of fixed assets. For companies operating in the real estate business, or areas where the assets fluctuate in value, the balance sheet can be inaccurate unless the assets have been revalued. If the technology is the key asset of a technology startup business and the technology does not appear accurately on the balance sheet, you may wonder if the balance sheet is of limited value in assessing the financial status of this company. And this is partly true, and the fixed asset section may be somewhat bare for a technology startup but the balance sheet is useful to determine the debts and liabilities of the company and compare them with the cash and the current assets. The balance sheet may have been designed for an industrial age business where the assets such as real estate and equipment are easily measured and valued and may not be as useful in assessing the strength of a technology startup. But the balance sheet is an essential financial report that has been used in business for centuries and will endure for centuries to come.